But a highlight of the Prime Minister's rally in Kerala was his attack on Rahul Gandhi, wherein he said, and I quote, that a big leader of Congress has found it very difficult to save the respect of his family seat in Uttar Pradesh and has made his new base in Kerala. The Crown Prince, uh, that's what uh, the Prime Minister was calling Rahul Gandhi of the Congress, will now ask for votes from the people of Kerala, but will not say even a single word or will even discuss your issues. So a big dig there by the Prime Minister against Rahul Gandhi while he was uh, addressing a huge rally in Kerala. Sathyo. कांग्रेस के एक बड़े नेता जिनको यूपी में अपनी खानदानी सीट पर इज्जत बचाना मुश्किल हो गया है और उन्होंने केरला में अपना नया ठिकाना बना लिया है चुनाव जीतने के लिए यहां कांग्रेस ने उस संगठन के पॉलिटिकल विंग से बैकडोर समझौता किया है जिसको देश में देश विरोधी प्रवृत्ति के लिए बैन किया गया है कांग्रेस के ये युवराज केरला के लोगों से वोट तो मांगेंगे लेकिन आपके हक में आपके मुद्दों पर एक शब्द भी नहीं बोलेंगे Neetu joins us now for the very latest on the Prime Minister's remarks and his dig at uh, Rahul Gandhi. Neetu, uh, the Prime Minister sharpening his attack at Rahul Gandhi saying that the Congress's Crown Prince is finding it extremely difficult to save the family seat honour. Obviously, he was referring to the embarrassing loss at Amethi at the hands of Smithy Irani. But tell us, how really are the people of Kerala reacting to the Prime Minister's visit to the state? He's been holding multiple rallies and addressing huge crowds. Over to you. Prime Minister's rally has always uh, has seen huge crowds in Kerala. Whenever uh, he has come in uh, over the years, we have witnessed huge crowds at rallies uh, in Kerala. Hmm. Uh, because whatever he says has been has resonated well with the people here, at least uh, among the BJP workers. So the crowds we have always witnessed. But in the last two times, we have seen that the uh, voting sh vote share has increased, but it has not reached a level where they were able to win a seat. But this time, you know, the Prime Minister himself said that this time uh, the seats will be in double digits. So they are making a very uh, um, uh, a huge attempt in the state of Kerala to ensure that they get a seat from this state of Kerala. So in that way, the uh, Prime Minister's speech was well accepted among the uh, workers and there has been a, a huge round of applause. Uh, when the Prime Minister comes in, when he starts to speak and when he leaves, so the, the reaction of the crowd is huge, whether uh, he's speaking, when he was speaking in Kunungulam or, or in Siruvananthapuram. So this attack was uh, directed against Rahul Gandhi saying that he has now come to Kerala, but he will ask you for votes, but he will not uh, uh, work for you. And he went on to say how the family seat has been lost, uh, taking a dig at the loss in MAP and also uh, in Piruvanantapuram, he had sharpened his attack against the Kerala chief minister and his daughter. The first time we heard the prime minister directly speaking about the, uh, the, the money uh, that was paid, the corruption allegation. Now an ED inquiry has also uh, 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 gone into this. So where in, in that particular instance, what the prime minister said was there is another corruption related to the CMRL and the accused have uh, 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 now uh, agreed and said that they have given money bribe uh, to right, uh, the chief right. minister and the daughter. So that is something which is an all-out attack against the chief minister once again. And uh, wherever he spoke in Kerala, he makes it a point to attack both the LDF and the UDF, stating that here they fight against each other, but just outside the state of Kerala, they are friends. But they in a sense, an Neetu, he is also stating facts because uh, Rahul Gandhi is not only facing these kind of attacks from the Prime Minister, but even from the Chief Minister of the state. We have heard, you know, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, the Chief Minister who has been extremely uh, critical of the of Rahul Gandhi contesting from Vayanar. The VIP seat is going to be witnessing a triangular contest between the Congress CP and BJP. And the Prime Minister not missing an opportunity to take a dig at the Indy Bloc saying that, well, they support each other outside but you know in in the state they're competing against each other they're fighting against each other 
see uh, from the time uh, the alliance was brought in from the time uh, when uh, during that time when the opposition india block alliance was formed that that after that when the prime minister visited india this is the first thing that he had spoken about saying yes. that how they are together here and uh, uh, fighting here and together in delhi uh, how they shake hands in delhi but we also need to understand the politics of this state so here in kerala uh, it, uh, to be uh, frank among the people this is not a huge issue though the bjp is okay. trying to make this because over the years they have seen how the udf and ldf has fought here and this is not the first time that the left has been supporting a congress government even if it was outside support during the upa regime so this is uh, but in the state of kerala right. they they are have been fighting against each other and that is continuing In fact, the Kerala Chief Minister Pinara Vijayan has repeatedly questioned Rahul Gandhi's idea of India. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Neetu, thanks so much for joining us. And the Prime Minister highlighting that confusing situation that has emerged in Kerala as both the Congress and the CPI that are part of the Indi bloc at the national level but are competing against each other in the state. This is what the Prime Minister had to say. Khuli loot ke karan Kerala. आर्थिक तबाही के कगार पर पहुंच चुका है सरकारी खजाने खाली हो चुके हैं राज्य सरकार के पास अपने कर्मचारियों को पेंशनर्स को सैलरी देने के लिए पैसे नहीं है केंद्र सरकार केरला के विकास के लिए जो पैसा भेजती है उससे राज्य सरकार अपना कर्ज चुकाने में खर्च करती है और ये लोग केंद्र सरकार पर झूठे आरोप लगाते हुए सुप्रीम कोर्ट गए और सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ऐसी फटकार लगाई है ऐसी फटकार लगाई है कि उल्टे मुंह वापस दौड़ करके केरल पास वापस आ गए सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने साफ साफ कहा कि केरला में फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस के लिए यहां की राज्य सरकार जिम्मेदार है